Hey guys, I'm Ted here to give you a fast fact and for today's fast fact we are going to discuss Il Abosh. Now Il Abosh or Kyle's Island is an island just off the coast of Haiti and Il Abosh is memorable to United States history and really the world's history because Il Abosh was the site of one of the most colossal failures of recolonization. Uh, during the United States Civil War, there were great arguments over emancipation and over the presence of, emanci of uh, a large, formerly enslaved African-American population in the United States. Uh, many people did not want them there. Racial amalgamation, uh, mis uh, miscegenation, uh, that, that is racial mixing. Um, mixing of all the races with a great fear then as it is now in, in uh, certain sections of the population certain um, certain people have those fears even today uh, job competition between uh, low a uh, low wage industrial workers and a mass of african-american laborers offering cheap labor to manufacture for the competition uh, and then of course social socially um, the 19th century America was intently racist, uh, even amongst those who favored emancipation, even amongst those who favored um, who favored ending slavery, were, were deeply racist. Ben Franklin Wade of Ohio, a uh, very powerful Republican po uh, politician, was intensely racist towards African Americans. Uh, and Ben Franklin Wade was a man known to, uh, to challenge slave owners. Um, but uh, but many people saw recolonization, saw moving the entire African American population outside of the United States had the best viable option to uh, provide for them and to alleviate all of the uh, all of the uh, potentially social socially damaging uh, consequences of just leaving a formal uh, a large formerly enslaved population in the United States. Uh, and that brings us to Ila Bosch Lincoln was a supporter of recolonization. Lincoln, uh, during the Civil War, provided the funds for an expedition to be mounted to uh, to uh, Cow's Island or Ila Bosch had a test uh, had a test an experiment. Uh, Five hundred freed men, women, and children were sent to Ila Bosch, and they were sent under the supervision of Bernard Koch. Uh, Koch was a um, speculator uh, and a cotton factor. Um, he had been uh, a slave owner at times and he had uh, been deeply involved in southern agrarian interest. Um, he, uh, he was attracted to Haiti uh, because he had visited uh, a Haitian exposition in which they were showing off their cotton to the world. He had gone to an, uh, an expose, a uh, fair, um, and, and, and uh, been really impressed with it and for years he had uh, been trying to devise ways in which he could capitalize on Haitian cotton um, on, uh, on the Haitian cotton industry now uh, Koch managed to procure a government contract uh, for the establishment of uh, a freedman's community on Ile La Bosch um, Koch promised to establish schools hospitals agricultural uh he promised to furnish the people with agricultural supplies that is seeds uh that is um hoes that is all of the farming equipment necessary along with livestock to support them and then also other seeds for uh to, to grow corn and wheat and all the other things that they would need to to um to uh support themselves um the settlers uh arrived to Ila Bosch and they found that none of the necessities that were promised them were there. There were no schools, there were no housing structures, there were no hospitals, there was nothing. Uh, they were abandoned and left to their own devices on Ila Bosch and disease soon swept through. Uh, smallpox came through and decimated their their uh, population. The entire thing failed as soon as it began. When word got back to Lincoln that the entire thing had failed, he quickly dispatched ships to bring them back to the United States. Uh, Less than 370 of them made it back to the United States. Uh, it was a complete disaster and it ended uh, serious talks of recolonization in the United States. It had failed and it had failed spectacularly. Uh, Lincoln moved off from it, but it would... Uh, 
and would persist in low grumbles throughout the war. Uh, and that is our fast fact on Ia Labash. Uh, I hope you guys found it enlightening. Uh, I don't really think you can label this as entertaining, but it is insightful. I hope you guys gained some insight from, from the fast fact. As always, hit like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you thought particularly about the, uh, about the Il Avash experiment. As always, I'm Ted, and I'll see you guys next time for another fast fact.